Hey guys, and welcome back to Let's Play Sly Cooper and the Thievius Raccoonus. In the last part, we made it past kind of the introduction level for this place. And in this part, let's go into probably... Well, it's not the first level, but let's go into the machine. Which takes place below docks and is actually probably one of the harder levels of this place. Better close those furnace doors. Jump and press the square button. That'll slam them shut. Of course it will. Hell you. <laughs> Indeed it does. They only stay shut temporarily, so don't assume you're done there. Eureka! We're in the engine room. Oh, really? My analysis tells me that if you trace the spinning crankshaft all the way back to its source, you'll find Raleigh's treasure key and sabotage his machine while you're at it. Ooh, fun. Sounds like we'll be saving people. So, yeah. Actually, that's kind of the character description for Sly Cooper in a nutshell. He's a thief, but he's not a bad guy. <laughs> he's not one of those thieves. Now, you want to stay on this, because obviously you can see there's a bottle here. Get it? There we go. Now, funnily enough, Sly can't swim. So, don't jump in the water, unless you feel like losing one of your lucky charms. Yep. Gotcha. Yeah. So... Just be very wary in this game, because sometimes you might screw yourself over faster than other times. Remember, Sly, yes, yes, I know. The circle button near the blue stealth auras to perform super sneaky thief moves. Super sneaky thief moves. Really? Is that the official term? How's about we just call them action moves? Because they're not super sneaky thief moves, as you say they are, Bentley. I think you want to keep going here. Yep, because there is a bottle. They're actually 30 in this level, so they're one-tenth of the way there. Keep going. There's one dangling in the air, but we can get this easily. Now, actually, from over there, it looked like this bottle was just bouncing on this thing, so it's kind of like, wait, what? Now we should be one-sixth of the way through. Now, you might be in an impasse, but you can do this. So just keep going. And avoid you, because I don't want to get my tail roasted. Whew, kind of hot in here, isn't it? Now this is kind of clever. You can either collect these bottles as you go, or you can do this. Oh! Forgot that one. Did that. And if you do this just right, you get a free life. And then you just jump down. And any of these bottles you knock down are freely there. So we're well above uh, <laughs> a third of the way through. In fact, we're almost halfway done. Just open this. Well, this looks fun. Obviously, you don't want to get electrocuted, because that's bad. So dodge these electrocute fan blades. Additionally, I think they chop you in half because of their size and probably their sharpness. Looks like they cut through the floorboard. Go. Remember when I said be wary? That's why. Okay. So, another 50 coins, still another lucky charm. Him. Actually, I haven't seen any, uh, I feel like there's some bottles somewhere in this vicinity. You have to keep your eyes peeled for those things, because sometimes they'll, uh, leave you. Now, obviously, this one, don't get electrocuted. Just kind of be wary and watch what you're doing. And if you don't feel comfortable passing, wait. I mean, it doesn't do anybody any good if you get electrocuted on the way there. And... Um, just make sure I didn't forget anything. God, inverted controls. I know some people like that, but I don't. Actually, I thought I could target something. H hang on. Okay. <laughs> I was wondering what that was. Uh, I can't see in front of me. Camera, could you, you know... Turn around. I'd appreciate that. Thank you. Keep going. That's what was in front of me. I didn't want to guess as to where he was. That just would have been harder. So another one of these, but this time we have lasers to deal with. Fun, right? So this time, once again, you don't really have to worry about falling. Just go back and forth. And move on when you get the chance. Now this one. Oh, it does go away. 
But this time, you don't do it for life. You do it for a bottle. So if you want 100%, just do it. Well, my version of 100%. We're almost done now. Smack you aside, because why not? Sly's a strong guy if he's able to, like, knock out a fat guy like that by hitting him in the stomach. Like, jeez. Going. Oh. Smack him. Now, obviously, we have a few more things that we need to be grabbing. Like these. I kind of like how they did that. Be very careful not to fall off here. How will you stop it? And, well, oh, rats. If you're, if you're fast enough, you can smash the rats and get some coins, but it's kind of mean and gross, actually. I kind of splattered green blood. It's weird. Don't ask me how. So just climb up this pipe. It's funny, you just hold up and you go left automatically, I think. There's the safe. And I think the rest of the bottles are in this room. In fact, I think, no, saves, safes don't always have them. But in this case, they do. For a couple. And I think the last one's on the opposite side where we found the other one. So let's just jump down there. Or no. Hold on. Okay. That's going to be really annoying if I have to go all the way back just to find one lousy bottle, because... Yeah, no, I don't think so. I'd rather do that off-screen and then show you guys. I don't see it up here. Oh, there it is. I was right about being in the same room, but... Stand on this, smash it. Now I can get to the vault, which is just down here. So what's the code, Bentley? I can't believe I pieced this one together. Really? <laughs> that is like the easiest code ever. I think I think Sly could have had done this faster just by cracking the safe. Another page of the Thieves Raccoonus. I think this one's a bit more useful. Interesting. Old Sally Cooper's fast getaway raccoon roll. Stories claim she can move faster rolling than anyone else could on the run. Hold down the triangle button to use this move. Switch between your power-ups using L2 and R2. So there you go, because binoculars are actually assigned to L1 and, and R1, I think. Let me let me test that theory. Yes, they are. So now we can go ahead and go between dive and roll. Roll is a bit more useful because, well, holy cow, it's fast, isn't it? Which is kind of a good thing. You can actually use it to go, get around pretty fast, but it's only slightly more useful. I can't think of a situation where it's very useful. So, let's go ahead and complete this level by actually going and getting the key. I missed time that! Whoa, that was close. Just do it this way, and, well... Let's just smash everything along the way. Jam that. And now we're in the pipe work, which is a little... I don't know, sketchy, because that thing could, could start going any minute. Here we are, and there's the treasure key. Smash it, and this time it actually ends the level. Way to go, Sly. And we get put back on the hub. I think I got enough time for another level. So we got the vault, or what was in the vault, and we have the key. So now we have the roll ability, which... Oh, and don't get caught by them. They suck. They're very precise with their uh, ranged attacks. Oh no, a life. How do I get that? Smash the window, of course. <laughs> I'm a thief. I don't care about property. Well, I guess Sly kind of cares about property, but still. So now we go into the high-class heist. Ooh, what a fancy stuff. Actually, this is... Really? Doesn't look like it. I mean, I'm smashing all these pots. I don't see what you're complaining about, Bentley. I don't see any guards. There's no tighter security. Because if there was tighter security, I smashed something. Guards should be running. But they're not. So, where are they? Oh! That kind of security. Okay. 
These are actually still pitifully easy, because as you can see, when they go back, they actually minimize their radius. Now you can just duck under. This one you go left with. This one you jump over. And done. Uh, that one's pretty linear. It's kind of hard to miss any bottles. What? I don't like his ugly mug. <clears throat> uh, ooh. I never saw that before. That's kind of cool. I really don't like this guy's ugly. I think those are all just Raleigh. He is very full of himself. Alright, now this sucks because, as you can see, that thing's shooting a security laser now. You wonder what will happen if you go through a security laser? Turns into a fire laser. That laser, that thing that the skull's shooting out, will follow you. So be very careful of that. There's a bottle over here. And, well, now I think the bottle collection. What can I tell you? Now we have to deal with the annoying alarm. So we need to quickly, that's where the vault is, get up there. <clears throat> Which, easier said than done when you're being chased by a laser and you have to jump over it. Actually, yeah, you can hide behind the statue if you want, but there's no point to it. You can just jump over the laser. So just keep going. Shut this thing up. I think you can use that to platform up here. I don't know if that's a shortcut, but it works for me. And you can go through here, grab that. Fire. It's kind of a little finicky, but I don't think you're really supposed to be up here that way. I think you can smash these. Yes, you can, and that's just an easier platform. So I did it a bit of the fancy way. Sometimes these contain coins, but I guess for the most point... <laughs> really? I can't speak today. I guess for the most part, they contain uh, bottles. So, yep, on the opposite side of the vault, there are three bottles. We're almost halfway done already. And yeah, you can smash these. So, I guess if you want to, you could. But, if you're not confident in your laser dodging skills, you can use those as a barrier. What are they doing? Seriously? You don't have hammers, so you're going to belly flop the nails down. That sounds painful. And they will honestly go after and body flop you. So, or belly flop. Body flop, same thing. Okay, now for a bit of fun platforming. Because as you can see, oh, there's life out there. Get it. Got it. Lives do kind of matter, but not seriously. If you're good at the game, you're not going to die a whole lot. But I don't think you'll hit a 99 cap anytime soon. Very wary. Don't fall into the water. Try to take it slow, but obviously there are lasers, so it's kind of hard to. And done. Go around here. Actually, I think you just... Yeah, if you're good at it, you can just walk around. Alright, this one... That's useless for now. But as you can see, there's a spotlight going around that thing. So, you have to do this. And get around it. It's kind of neat how they do associate some kind of stealth gameplay into the game. It's not required, though. Like, seriously, this thing could be a lot better as just a pure platformer than a stealth platformer. So, like I said, you can use that cane. You can grab that there if you want, but you can also disable the alarms and go back and get it. Either way, there's a lot of things you can do. A couple of bottles. You! <laughs> that was close. <laughs> trying to be fancy. Uh, that's the end of the level, and I'm missing three bottles. Where would I have missed those? Not up here, obviously. Um, this calls for some good old-fashioned backtracking, as well as looking around these things. Uh, obviously, it won't be out of the level, because that'd be kind of neat. And they weren't behind these. Let's just keep going. Uh, the camera, work with me here. The camera's a bit weird. We have to jump across this again, which I think on the way back is harder on the way to. I would like to know where I missed those bottles. Because if I missed them anywhere, they obviously weren't out in the open. Not on the lily pads. Kind of obvious. I would have seen them. Uh, not up there. Not around this platform. You gotta really use your... Um, obs <laughs> your skills of observation to... Oh, wait. Don't tell me. No? Really? Yeah. 
Um. Thought they'd be up there. Funny they're not. Ah. Wait. Nope. Not here. Oh, really? They were right in front of my bleeding face and I just completely missed them. <laughs> I think I panicked from the laser. All right, let's do this. Whoever thought this code up knew what they were doing. Dial in 436. Okay, Bentley, these codes are easy. I think I could crack these. And I'm not a master thief. And once more, epically open the vault. Another page of Thieves Raccoonus. This one I don't think is very useful. These are the blueprints of Raleigh's entire operation. Oh, wait. I wonder... Yes, I can wire this info directly into your binocucom. It'll show you the position of nearby clues and breakable objects. Okay, that's kind of useful. Of course, again, if you're very observant, you won't need it. Because, well, now it's just easier to find clues. But, of course, you're gonna need all those pages. Because some of those abilities are actually useful. This one... Eh. It's kind of useful. I wouldn't call it useful. Most of oh, well, I guess it's a good thing I saved those three bottles, eh? Because I had to backtrack anyway. Why'd that lily pad go all the way under the water? That's... That's not cool. That's freaking me out. Stop it. Alright, so just... Hop, skip, jump, and roll away. Almost fell off there. I guess that's faster than running. It's not much faster. Camera, work with me. Don't do that. Well, uphill, obviously. It's not going to be. Turn the level. And back to the hub. So now we have enough keys to proceed through that electrified tunnel if we wanted to, but we still need all seven keys. And there are two more levels we can do over on this side, so we might as well do that. But I'm past the 15 minute mark, so I'm just going to stop here and, well, be a rebel. What you gonna do now, Raleigh? Stand in your fountain. Anyway, in the next part, we'll go ahead and take on those two levels over there and undo the electrified gate. So, see you guys in the next part. Until then... Farewell.